world. One can never have. This is a Fox News special report. I'm Shepard Smith at Fox News headquarters in New York. We interrupt your regular programming to now for a live look at the courthouse in Clayton, Missouri, where just moments ago, the St. Louis County, Missouri prosecutor announced the grand jury's decision not to indict the white police officer who shot and killed an unarmed black man. A live look now in Ferguson, Missouri, where the shooting happened on August the 9th. It touched off days of protests that sometimes turned violent. Tonight, people were out on the streets even before the prosecutor announced the grand jury's decision. They are the only people, the only people who have heard and examined every witness and every piece of evidence. They discussed and debated the evidence among themselves before arriving at their collective decision. After their exhaustive review of the evidence, the grand jury deliberated over two days, making their final decision. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson. So there will be no indictment against him. Officer Darren Wilson reportedly says 18-year-old Michael Brown was running toward him when the officer fired the deadly shots. Some witnesses claim Brown had his hands up and was trying to surrender, but others testify that, in fact, he was charging the officer. A live look now in Ferguson. There were 12 people on the grand jury, nine white, three black. At least nine members had to vote for an indictment. The grand jury's decision, though, is not the last word in the case. The FBI is also investigating possible civil rights violations. The feds had warned that there could be trouble tonight from outside agitators and from those concerned in the Ferguson area. The FBI sent in some 100 FBI agents to the Ferguson area to try to help keep the peace. And the National Guard has been called out and is on standby tonight. Ferguson police are not in charge tonight. The St. Louis County police are. And should there be more trouble, we'll break in. I'm Shepard Smith, Fox News, New York. This has been a Fox News special report.